There he is. It took me like 40 seconds to get out of my tent. River rats. I am uh, currently on a big river in a little plastic boat, hoping for bigger fish. And uh, I picked the wrong spot to camp, so I get to paddle up river into the current. This is gonna be interesting. I don't even know if this is gonna be doable. Yeah, I came down here to check this out and I'm not digging what I see. So I'm gonna try and paddle up into this current. Not for very far, but still gotta do it and not flip. That would be important. Man. I'm just gonna hit me hard. I wonder if I should just let it do its thing, figure it out. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. Okay. Didn't flip there. Just gotta get on the front side of this machete. One foot at a time. Short choppy steps. Like a good lineman. Really good lat workout. Not quite out of the woods. Nothing like paddling full on to five mile an hour current. But there's a lot of stuff going on here, and it makes me want to set up camp up here. One of the biggest downfall is the lack of firewood. And it's supposed to get down to 37 tonight. Well, that paddle warmed me up. So I have that going for me. I have a muddy boot. Well, I have two muddy boots, but I have a wet boot. I was from uh, stepping in mud that just was like quicksand. Gotta love the old river mud. I'm hungry though. I'm gonna get parked and then uh, get cooking, I think. I'm hoping the current side up here is a little firmer. I really like the idea of camping on this little mucky peninsula thing. It doesn't look any firmer bottom than any other girl. Oh, she's squishy. Oh, that's way firmer. Can live with that. Well, that ain't very firm. Guys, it's real mucky. <laughs> We're a long ways up the bank. Okay. This probably looks kind of ridiculous. Trying to limit the amount of mud in my kayak. The things a guy does. More firewood over here anyway. Definitely less muddy. Be honest with me, how awesome do I look right now? Yeah, I'm very hungry. Well, I got some work to do. Got to get camp set up. Yeah, we'll get baits out first. That's more to my liking. Oh, one nice thing about flatheads is you don't need all that solid of a rod holder because you just leave it with the free spool clicker. But blues, I like leaving it engaged. Oh, well, speaking of clicker, I'm gonna leave the clicker on this one. There needs to be a bait over here. 
Let's see if I can get this thing to shove down. It's a little bit of muck to get it started. Sometimes you can weave it down in this stuff. I don't know if it's gonna happen, guys. Oh, we're getting somewhere. Okay. Make it shallow there. A little bit of depth. Pretty good amount of depth. We'll see what happens. I think I'm gonna anchor this boat. Clip it off to a log. I'll be reasonably well anchored. There we go. Oh yeah, I need to anchor it. All right. We are good. We are fishing. It's nice. One nice part about this spot, it's not muddy. Oh. Well, the more I look around, the more firewood I see. These all burn nicely. Um, where do I want my campfire at? I mean, add it to the leaf pile. I put my tent right there. If you're like, how come you want to camp on rocks? Wouldn't it be uncomfortable to sleep on it? Yeah, but I got a cot, so I'm kind of cheating. And sweet wardrobe. Here comes a boat. They're probably like, you're insane. Kayak in this giant river. They're probably right. I won't be able to stake down my top. That could be problematic. We're here, we're figuring it out. I'll just tie it to stuff. I just remembered I'm hungry. I'm a little scatterbrained in the best of times. This is like the best of times, but probably not mentally the best of times, but it's a fun time. I'm getting nibbed. Just take it down, dude. Do what you do and eat it. Come here, other end of tent. We're gonna move you away from the fire. Do I want the fire there? I kinda like being close to my fishing poles. This is moderately flat. I think I'm gonna leave the tent here. I think I'll put the fire. over here I'm gonna quit wondering I'm just gonna flip the clickers on not my favorite for blues but this isn't ideal the most ideal hopefully we hear one of them zipping here before too long that would be ideal if you're like why would you want to camp when it's gonna be this cold well with a kayak about the only way you can effectively fish that this entire stretch river this time of year with days being so short. I think it's not windy. Where's my door? Toss the sleeping bag in there. This, this air mattress cot. Sleeping bag liner in case I get really cold. Stocking cap in case I get real cold. Pillow. Pretty well set. Zip it up so the bugs don't get in. Oh yeah, it's December. There aren't any. They might come out today though. Okay. On to that cooking. Unfortunately, I couldn't bring my uh, flat burner because of room and stuff. This packs down just a little bit smaller. The other unfortunate part is, well, I didn't bring my base. I could have brought the base. I'm all about that base. Maybe over here. 
Could just wedge it between a bunch of rocks. Could try that. Make like four rock sided platform. There's one side, two sides. It's not very level though. Maybe I'll do this in the mud. There's potential here. We're sealed it on the other side. I think she's gonna work. I don't know why it's a she. Caught a cat earlier. We're gonna fry him up. All of them, because I'm starving. Step number one, check. You're like, what are you gonna do with all that hot sauce? Well, you'll see. Oh yeah, I should probably dice these guys up and cut the red meat off of them. Forgot about that. Okay. That was slow progress. Got it chunked up, got all the red meat cut off of them blue cat fillets, and we're gonna douse them. Douse them in the franks. Then I'm gonna let them sit for a little bit. Then I'm gonna bread them, fry them, and eat them. And smile, because it's gonna be good. Real good. Kinda surprised I haven't even had a tap. Okay, I may have gotten a little excited with the franks. Gonna have to transfer those over into a different baggie. Maybe even wipe my hands off. That's a crazy idea. It's so nice out. Gonna need you. And if there's anybody watching who's like, I don't know if I'd like to eat catfish. Frank's Red Hot, the only way to go. It'll change your mind. If anything's gonna change your mind, that's what's gonna change your mind. Okay, lighter. Does it work? Yep, cool. I do have a backup. Ooh, that hot sauce is getting in the cuts. I think I say that every time I use Frank's Red Hot to cook fish. I say that because it does. She's uh, toasty. Let's see how level it is. The oil test. Relatively level. Neat. How close are we getting? One nice thing is there's like no wind. Which that's what makes cooking outdoors the hardest. Oh, we got a little bit yet. The moment is here. Oh yeah, that's nice and hot. Just what you want to see. Oh wow, those are pretty much done. It was pretty hot when I tossed her in there. Oh, it's amazing how quick that fish cooled that oil off though. Oh no. Don't tell me the propane's almost out. That tank felt almost completely full. Yeah, it just went out. Um, might have to get creative on the fish. It's a little adversity I didn't anticipate. Yeah, there's no propane left. Guess we're cooking on a fire. This thing feels so full. Well, let's see how this tastes. It's done. Not bad. They're pretty hot. Okay. What I'm going to try to do, try to get a fire going and then create a little pocket. Like, yeah. I'm going to try to get a fire going and try to push it under here to get my skillet hot. This is going to be a pain, but... I'm hungry. I procured some firewood. Let's get this project going. Get some leaves going. Keep going, leaves. I want grass lights up better. I should have packed her a little tighter with this stuff. I'm gonna 
Let me just get a big old pile of this stuff. I need some twiggies. It's the twiggiest twigs I got right there. Yeah, I know if I had like a fire starter, that would probably work better, but I don't. So there's that. Almost brought a propane torch, but it wouldn't matter because I don't have any propane. Keep burning. Just keep, keep burning. I can get us a nice established fire. Some hot, hot coals going. Things are burning. That is fire. It's a leaf fire mostly, but I think there's a few sticks starting to burn. Throw some leaves on there just cause. Need a nice fire shaping stick. Gonna tuck all the combustibles in there. Now I feel like a real adventurer. I wonder if the fish will taste better if you get that smoky flavor in there. Um, there's potential this might actually work. Not ideal, <clears throat> but here we are. Okay, it's actually, it's not super hot, but, well, might be hot enough. I'm not going to cook a whole bunch of pieces at a time, but the grease is greasing. Ah, screw it. We'll put five in. I think it's working. It's not the hottest grease I've ever cooked on, but it's sizzling. Now I got a few of them that are going to be edible. That one might even be good. It's definitely a hot spot on the pan. Cast iron would do a lot better, but wasn't planning on being at this point. It's more improvising. Oh, that's hot. Oh, we have some live action. Not a small fish. Probably gonna burn on my dinner. I might not get this one in because he's rubbing on something. Yeah, he's stuck on something. It's oh, frustrating, especially when I know my fish is um, burning. <laughs> Try and go the other direction, maybe. Something pop. Yeah, that's big time rubbing on something. I'm gonna have to take my fish off the fire. Maybe changing the angle will help too. Don't wanna burn my fish. Do I dare throw any more on there? Okay, back to this. He moved a smidgen. Yeah, he's in a solid. I'm gonna just let him sit and sometimes they swim out. Get back to cooking. Okay, I'm giving up on this fish. Ooh, that doesn't sound great. Kind of moved. Oh. Is he out? Yep. For the moment. Wonder what he was caught on. Fishing line, maybe? He ain't huge. He ain't bad. No, it was a log. <laughs> Okay, can't believe I got him. <laughs> what the heck is this? That was caught on. Got a piece of timber. Pretty sure there's a piece of fish breading stuck on the camera. Yeah, he ain't bad. Another long skinny fish. I think my line was just hooked on that thing the whole time. 
Well, this fish was a nice breakup in the monotony of cooking catfish three pieces at a time. Not something I can say I've done, nor do I want to have to do again in the future. But uh, it is what it is. Just stoked to honestly be out here. So, and catching fish, because historically for me, I haven't always caught fish on this river, but yay catfish. Then you can add in the fact that I didn't think I was gonna get him out of that snag either. Okay, no. Okay, peace, maybe. Watch out for that rock. Okay, you got it. <laughs> Back to cooking. I could tell you I haven't been grazing on these for the past two hours, but that would be a lie. So I can confirm. They actually turned out all right. It just took forever. He took off like a, like blue cats so often do. Now he's running at me like blue cats so often do. Can't tell if he's big yet. He's still just getting wrapped in the other line. We we're gonna have a tangled mess. I think. Yeah, he ain't bad. He was shallow. Um, oh yeah, he's very much tangled in the other line. Oh, he's better. Quite a bit better than I thought. Um, let me get my grips. Whew. Holy crap, did that wake me up. It's a nice fish. Um, he got bigger as he got closer. And I don't even know what that means, but uh, it startled me. When blue cats hit it and the clicker's on, it's just like, 100 mile an hour. I'm breathing heavily, heavy, because I was excited. He came out of shallow water. Shouldn't surprise me that much at night, but I don't know, it does for some reason. If I see him caught off guard, it's because I am. I'm gonna go let him go. Whew. I'm gonna go also unknit a sweater, too. Oh yeah? Mm -hmm. Not the most graceful critters. At least not when the water's 40. I wouldn't be there if I came out of 40 degree water. I didn't make a big fire, even though big fires are fun. I think I'm going to let this one start to burn down a little bit, and then I'm going to hit the hay and hopefully get woke up to a clicker rolling again. Oh. <sighs> There he is. <laughs> Took me like 40 seconds to get out of my tent. <sighs> this one was up on the shallow shelf again. <sighs> I was almost asleep. Whew. That would be up for a little while. <laughs> He was a long ways out there. Get up here. He's fitting in. Another nice average sized fish. Um, he woke me up out of my slumber. Took me 30 seconds to get out of my tent. He ran off like 70 yards of line and uh, made me alarmed and out of breath, just like the last one. But um, maybe it's not the fish. Maybe I just need to get in better shape. I don't know. I do know I'm going to put him back in the water. Okay, but...
He's got to figure it out. Going back to sleep. Well, he's still going. Somehow. Is that him dropping it? There we go. He's a mile out there. He's just down there rolling, rolling, pulling, being rolly. Oh, he just popped off. <laughs> right there by the bank. Dang. Crunch the bottom bait. Back to bed. Morning, River Rats. Welcome to my home, which needs to get cleaned up. Broken down. We gotta get on the road because we have like 15 miles to go. No big deal. We don't tip Red Bull. Very important. Yeah, I uh, I messed around too much yesterday. Spent too much time fishing marginal areas that uh, didn't amount to anything. So I have like 16 miles to paddle, which means if I'm going four mile an hour on average, I got at least four hours of paddling. Might even get to fish a little bit. This Red Bull's good though. This time of year cats seem to prefer sunny and warm, so. I'm gonna get at least an hour or two of paddling in right now. That way uh, I can hit the juicy stuff during, you know, what's nicer out. And hopefully the cats are biting better. Not that they're, I'm sure you can catch some right now. Okay, paddle time. Maybe listen to a podcast. What you can't see is that it's 37 degrees. And there's a pretty, just stout enough south wind that I'm paddling into to uh, chill me all the way to my very core. Some might even say all the way to my soul. That might be a little excessive. Been paddling for about 20 minutes. There's some uh, good looking stuff ways down here, at least on Navionics. So we'll get there and then look at it with the sonar. And probably gonna be the first spot we fish. Not gonna lie, it's kind of weird sitting in a little plastic boat paddling down this giant river. Uh, I want to talk about clutch moves. I got gloves. Not always the smartest, but in this moment, I feel pretty smart. There's a lot of catfish on the bottom and a lot of Asian carp. Hopefully the catfish are hungry. They get 20 minutes. No more, no less. Maybe less. If I hook a big dog, I'm gonna have to put the food to him. How sturdy is this log? It's actually kind of sturdy. Can I clip off to it? Next question. Definitely sturdier than that rock the other day. We just unclipped. And he ain't even that big. I don't think. No. Nope. He is a fish. Might be a good sign to move. For a minute there, I thought I had one on here. That would have been interesting. This is one of the saddest blues I've seen. Oh, he's peeing. They do that. I pee when I get scared too. But yeah, he's been roughed up, skinny. Probably should feed him, but uh, I'm just gonna let him go instead. Good luck. 
Change my mind, I'm gonna fish here a little bit longer. Get tied off a little bit better though. Found a wonderful surprise, River Hats. I brought rolly stuff. Thought all I thought I had was food I had to cook, but um, luckily I anticipated my laziness. Well, I I'm not gonna call it laziness, efficiency. This is efficient food. Which is important because I still got about six miles to get to the ramp. If you're wondering how you do this by yourself, what you do, well, you need a good buddy who uh, can be bribed with hamburgers and beers to pick you up and give you a ride back to your truck. I'm fortunate that I have just that friend. That's pretty good. Sustenance. Well, River Rats, if I look comfortable, it's because I am. Other than this thing like cutting off the circulation to my head, good thing there's not much up there that needs oxygen. But, uh, oh, I got a nib. I got like three miles left, which means if I'm paddling three miles an hour, it's going to take me an hour. And it's going to be dark in an hour. So I should probably get paddling because I don't want to paddle. I should paddle a lot. I don't want to be on this river in a little plastic boat in the dark without a light. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, it was fun. It was a cool experience, and hope to do it again one of these days. But I hope you enjoyed it. I appreciate you taking time to watch. If you like it, hit the like button. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. Throw me some video ideas. Something you think would be cool. If your video idea is a uh, catch a hundred pounder. I agree with you. I think that would be cool. Like I said, thanks for taking time to watch. Hope you catch a giant.